Well, hello there. Today I have a very special laptop to be reviewed, but before that, let's roll the intro. Hey guys, it's Zoral from Exitual TV where you can discover new things. So if you're new here, make sure to click that subscribe button and you can find all the links to my previous video in the description box below. Okay guys, so this is the new 2020 Huawei MateBook D15 uh, and I have with me today is their cheapest entry level laptop which you can get for around um, 2,499 Malaysia ringgit or somewhat equivalent to a 574 US dollar if I'm not mistaken. Well, you guys can correct me on that one. But anyways, this laptop is really, I mean, relatively affordable for a premium ultrabook in its class, considering the price, of course. Yeah, so let's not waste any more time, shall we? Let's get in, I mean, dive in more to the review. Let's go. Okay, first of all, I want to point out that I came from a very long line of gaming laptops. Those big and bulky heavy gaming laptops, for example, the uh, Asus ROG G750 and my Asus ROG Strix series, as well as my MSI GS73 Stealth Pro. And I'm thinking that you guys are wondering, wow, why do you have so many gaming laptops? Well, because I prefer to use gaming laptops before because I need the power and raw performance to edit my videos and play games on the go. So um, I'm still considering myself to be a newcomer in the Ultrabook department but I'm gonna try my best to review it for you guys today. So having said that, coming from a big and heavy gaming laptop, it really surprised me how lightweight this laptop is. Um, I think uh, it's only weighed around 1.6 kilogram and it's really light compared to other laptops out there. Aside from that, this laptop is really thin, you know, if compared, even compared to my uh, thin and lightweight so-called gaming laptop which is the MSI GS73, I think this is much more, um, the form factor for this laptop is much more thinner, in my opinion, and it really surprised me. <laughs> So secondly, I want to touch on the uh, build quality and design of this laptop. So um, in my point of view, um, the design team at Huawei is really nailed it with this one. I mean, they are able to, um, I mean, they went with a simplicity design that's still able to portray that premium look and feel to it. So well done, Huawei. And aside from that, what I like about this laptop is it doesn't have any sort of um, cheap feeling when you're touching it and using it. So uh, pretty, a pretty good selling point there in, in my point of view. So moving on to performance and the internal specification for this laptop. And this bad boy is equipped with the AMD Ryzen 5 3500U CPU which is accompanied by their AMD Radeon Vega 8 graphics. And aside from that, this particular laptop also has 8GB of DDR4 RAM which is clocked at 2400 MHz. And for storage unit, um, this model has a 256GB of NVMe PCIe SSD for fast storage, I mean for booting your Windows. And it's also accompanied by a 1TB of HDD for massive storage. I mean, it should be enough or sufficient for most people out there. Maybe? Okay, chill, relax. I know a lot of you guys out there are eager to know what is the battery performance of this puppy. Am I right? Well, this laptop has a 42 watt hour lithium polymer battery. I mean, uh, I know it's not the greatest or biggest out there, I mean, in the market right now, but all I can say is it gets the job done. And from my personal experience while using this laptop, it was able to give me around 6 hours for normal use and around 5.5 hours for while well, I'm watching Netflix and watching movies and so on. So in my point of view, I think it should be sufficient for most people out there. Okay, so the other key features that I like about this laptop is the camera, I mean the webcam is hidden. So um, if you're the type of person that always worry that people might be watching you through your webcam, so with this 
unit with this model with this laptop you don't have to stick a piece of paper onto your webcam so if you're the type of person that i've mentioned just now you don't have to worry because the webcam is basically hidden so the webcam has been reassessed i've uh, been moved to a new location uh, which is you can find it between the function keys and it's and it is located in the middle of between f6 and f7 so all you have to do is press it and the webcam will pop up cool okay apart from that the other key features that i like about this laptop is it has a built-in fingerprint reader or a fingerprint scanner or touch id or whatever you want to call it it's basically the same thing so it's located on the power button itself and yeah you heard it right guys this laptop has a fingerprint reader for an added security measure and aside from that oh yeah i forgot to mention that this laptop is also capable of windows hello you know to unlock your devices and laptop through facial recognition it also have it okay now let's look at the io for this laptop so on this side we have one audio jack with two usb port and moving to the other side we have one usb type c port one usb 3.0 port and one full size hdmi port and yeah i just noticed that this laptop don't have a thunderbolt port but well it's a it's an entry level ultrabook so what do you expect right considering the cheap price it's a pretty good offer and a very solid laptop to me oh yeah and i almost forgot to mention that the uh, usb type c port is also used to charge this laptop and you can also use it to transfer data as well so basically um you don't have to carry extra charger for your phone and your laptop and you don't have to carry extra, extra cable for your phone and your laptop as well i mean all you have to do is carry one type c cable one charger and you can charge your phone and your laptop by using that same same charger what i'm trying to say so it's really convenient when you're traveling so it's another selling point for this laptop from my point of view so if you guys are interested to buy this laptop i'm gonna leave a link down in the description box below so you guys can have a look so basically that is all for today's review this is just gonna, i mean this is just gonna be a quick review after all so um yeah that's all for today guys so do give me a good rating by liking this video and consider subscribing to the channel because it's really gonna help me to grow this channel even further so as always i guess i'll see you guys in the next one shall i ciao